Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. The boys are doing their own thing and hubby's at work. And I came down to my craft room to clean out a piece of furniture that I am getting ready to remove from the craft room. And I took a step back just like this. I'm looking exactly at what you guys are looking at. And excuse this, we never got to finish the ceiling when we did this room. Speaking of which, I am so blessed and I am so grateful to have my own space to where I can do my hobbies. I'm a very, very lucky girl. And hubby, it only took hubby, what, six, seven, no, almost eight, nine years to give me my own space to where I was growing out of our bedroom. And he said, okay, you need somewhere to put your stuff. With that being said, I wanted to talk about my desk real quick because I think it's a really cool option. Um, I was looking for something that was very affordable. Prior to having my beautiful space, if you see these drawers down here, I had for my desk these two sets of drawers and this countertop from Lowe's, and I had it spread out, and it worked out great. Before that, it was just a card table. Now, as I have grown, and let me tell you this, I have grown, um, I needed something that was going to be a nice big work surface. You guys, this is huge. I am so grateful, so blessed to have this. But I needed it to be affordable because I was doing it on a budget. So hubby and I went to Hab Habitat for Humanity, and they had a kitchen set right here. First time I went, it's not like I, and yes, my trash is overflowing. I'm getting there. First time I ever went, I laid my eyes on these kitchen cabinets and I thought, this is perfect. This is amazing. This is what I'm looking for. These drawers right here, th this bottom one is so deep. This at one time was someone's kitchen cabinets. That hung up at one time, hung up in a, someone's kitchen in the corner. And then this little cabinet right here. And I only needed three pieces to create what I wanted. Then we went to Home Depot and got this long um, countertop. I believe it was actually on clearance for 30 bucks when I had paid like 48 for the shorter one. But that's what my desk is made up of. So that is definitely a great, uh, a great option for someone that's looking for a desk on a budget. Now, why I came on here tonight, and my view is the same as yours, I'm stepping back and I'm looking at my gorgeous desk that I'm so proud of, that I am so blessed to have, and I'm thinking, Amanda Joe, what a flip-flopping mess! Girl! Is anybody else like this? I need to know for my sanity. Anybody else's desk, a hot mess, almost a hundred percent of the time or is it just me if we are a crafter does that mean we're automatically deemed messy like oh my trash is so full that i started another bag down here um let's let's just go look at this mess y'all okay i have a brush that i'm trying to fix because i didn't go clean it right away from from mod podge I got these adorable bunny little cups that I thought I was going to put on my tiered tray. Put them on my tiered tray. They didn't look right, so where'd they end up on my desk? Yes, I'm doing a challenge giveaway. This is the P.O. box that you can send the goodies to if you want to. You can check out that video. I'll link it down below. A hot mess of stuff in here. You guys, this is awful. Like, look at... I throw everything in the corner that I think I'm going to use, but I haven't used, but I haven't touched it in a while. Same thing with this little guy. This whole setup right here is full of all my little bobs and doo-doos and blings and metal pieces. And I mean, just like not organized at all. Like it used to be organized into gold, silver, like everything on there was everything in these little buckets were organized. I have everything just sitting on top of here. My poor pegboard. Isn't a pegboard the point of it is to be organized? Do you see this? You guys, I'm a hot mess. I have a basket full of paper from a project that I took upstairs and was working on, but then threw it back down here when I was done. I have all these stickers that I have not put away from Hobby Lobby yet. Like my cart, my cart. Anybody else like this? I throw all my bits and bobs in here that I think that I would like little scrap pieces that I might need for a card. My ribbons, my little, I mean, just what? It just makes no sense. 
I have tape, pliers, and uh, Baker's twine. More ribbon. Like, this is a hot mess. More ribbon. More ribbon. More ribbon. <laughs> you guys, like, card bases, sentiment stickers. And then down here, this is the only part I think that might be halfway organized. I have little tiny flowers for cards and that sort of thing in all different colors, different kinds of baker's twine, and then ribbons that I use the most. But this is a hot mess. Does any, I need to know, please, and be honest, if you're a clean crafter, I envy you, but I need to know. Like, even my beautiful things that I like to display is still a hot mess. Now, real quick, while I got you on here, I do want to cut these out and come back and show you guys exactly um, what the dies are. But I did go a little bit of shopping on AliExpress. I got these nesting heart dies. It looks like they threw this little itty bitty flower in there as a gift, which I appreciate. We have this adorable little bear. Isn't he cute? I cannot wait to play with him. We have this gorgeous little hedgehog. He's adorable. He's holding a heart. Um, we have a bear that's poking out of a box, but I thought, if anything, his little head and his little paws would be cute poking out of anything. Then I have another cute little adorable hedgehog. And then I have a Santa that was super cheap, but looks super easy. And then I have adorable penguin. And then a set of nesting dies for card bases. I love using dies like this. And I picked up these assortment of flowers. They were super cheap as well. And they did not take long to get here. Um, and they're very uh, appropriate size for cards. And then I also picked up these flowers too. Super cute. I love the colors. So shabby. And then they sent me these two bags as a gift. But then I have painter's tape nails and hooks a bag that I messed up didn't spell the name right and another project that I did um for my boss at work still have not done anything with and of course my gorgeous cricket but oh also you guys I did a um home goods shop with me and I asked you guys in there what are these cups for like I know I'm sorry but when I go get my coffee if it's a coffee mug I'm gonna need a little bit something more than this like I definitely is it for espresso maybe oh it could be I don't know but bunny butts are always cute to me no matter what um but yes I need to know is your desk as crafty goodness as much as this may be is it as messy as mine? Please don't let me know, think I'm all alone. I mean, tell me the truth, but please. Okay, guys, until next time, don't forget the giveaways and challenge giveaway is still going on. Um, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying warm. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.